everyone, we are here at Zoo Knoxville and we are on the stage of one of the live bird shows that they offer here. And I'm joined by Adam. He is the lead trainer here for one of these shows. Adam, thanks so much for talking to Daytime. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about these shows that you all offer here. Yeah, well, it's an interactive free flight bird show. So we do have some bird species that will come flying around right over people's heads. Some fly nice and low, so it really gets people involved. Uh, every now and then, we'll actually bring up a volunteer onto stage, and that special volunteer can actually get to have a bird fly right to their hand. Wow. Um, it just kind of helps people care just a little bit more about these birds. That's so cool. So it's really interactive when people come here. And we are sitting on the stage, or we're standing on the stage, and we're looking out at the crowd. And how many people can you say fit here at the shows? Yeah, so we got enough room for about four to five hundred people. Wow. I've seen I've seen it get that busy on a few occasions. Wow. But typically, we average around two fifty. That's amazing. And so when you see the reactions of the audience's face, you know, when say someone comes up here and they see a bird come into their hand, tell me about that. Describe to me what yeah. their what their reactions are. You know, you just kind of see the eyes light up. That's, that's the first thing. And the big smile, we, we call it a wow moment mm -hmm. um, where, these, where these kids, these volunteers, even adults mm -hmm. uh, can kind of feel like a kid again and just be excited about being this close to a bird, something from right. nature. Um, and then that's when, you know, we can really share with them mm -hmm. about that particular bird or endangered species mm -hmm. uh, as well. Right. And you mentioned, you know, this is a way for people to be interactive with these mm -hmm. animals and to care about them as exactly. well. Why is that so important for you? Well, it's so important to us because we like to think of ourselves as educators mm -hmm. and conservationists. So we put on these uh, natural bird shows so that people care just a little bit more and maybe they'll then want to take action by doing something maybe simple like recycling mm -hmm. or donating to nonprofit organizations to help save these birds. Um, because if we save the birds, we save the entire planet. You can find birds all over the world. Right. And so, you know, one of the greatest things about these shows is that you guys put a lot of time, love, and energy energy into working with these birds. Tell me a little bit about that process of being able to yeah. train them to come and swoop <laughs> over someone's head. Exactly. So one of the most frequent questions I get from our zoo guests is what keeps the birds from flying away? Right. And, um, you know, because it's an open air amphitheater, there's no cages or anything when we're flying these birds. They're not on any leashes or anything. Mm -hmm. So they could fly away. <laughs> but the thing is, is that they don't have a reason to. Mm -hmm. So I then ask, well, why would they fly away? Mm -hmm. This is their home. Mm -hmm. This is where most of our birds are raised. And so um, they get their food, water, um, interaction uh, with other birds and, and ourselves, the trainers. Mm -hmm. We train all of our birds using positive reinforcement. So we build trusting relationships with these birds. So they actually enjoy coming out here and performing their behavior. If they don't want to come out, we don't force them. They have the power of choice. So if they don't want to come out, that's okay. They can say no. Um, and by allowing them to do that, by allowing them to say no, most of the time they choose to come out. That's great. And so tell me a little bit about some of the birds that you guys have. Yeah, I know yeah. I know you have some great names for them as well. <laughs> we really do. So we have an East African crown crane okay. who stands at about four and a half feet tall. His name is Lieutenant Dan. Okay. Um, he's been here since 1999. He was hatched right here at Zoo Knoxville. Wow, that's great. Yeah, we also have um, several different species of macaws. Those mm -hmm. are large species of parrots that mm -hmm. are found in the rainforest of Central and South America. Mm -hmm. We have a, a scarlet macaw. His name's Opie. Uh, he was also hatched right here at Zoo Knoxville. Then we have some endangered species like um, Ako Tango, who's our blue-throated macaw. These guys are critically endangered endangered less than 200 wow. left out in the wild. So he definitely comes out, puts on a show, and helps yeah. people care just a little bit more. That's wonderful. <laughs> and what's great too is you guys offer so many different times that people can come and see the shows, yeah. right? So you can come and see a show every day but Monday. Uh, the birds even need a day off as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, we do our shows Tuesday through Sunday at 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Um, now, uh, sadly today, we had to cancel one of our shows because we actually had some wild barred owls that uh, decided to kind of uh, sit in and be like, you know what? We don't want. They you want guys to check some stuff they, out. They want yeah. to check some. They actually have some babies back there that they're being very protective uh, of. Okay. Yeah, so it's even a good place to come and see native species yeah. <laughs> of I, birds. Yeah, that's very cool. And so one of the best things though is people can come through the doors of Zoo Knoxville. They can go walk around and then they mm. can come and sit down with the family and really enjoy the show with all of you guys. Exactly. Uh, we even have a, a bird that's well known worldwide. Einstein. She's our famous talking oh. African gray parrot. And Amanda, she win the hearts of people. 
people with all the sounds that she's learned how to mimic. She has over 70 vocalizations on cue. Wow. Um, even some fun sounds like spaceships and lasers. She's a big fan of Star Wars. Whoa, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> well, Abby, thank you so much for talking with Daytime. We really do appreciate it. Make sure you stop by Zoo Knoxville. Plan your trip today. Bring the whole family down. And you can catch Adam and, of course, his wonderful crew of birds putting on a show here today. The preceding portion of daytime